Robert Redford is easily one of the best actors in the history of show business. It is literally undisputed. The man has done serious roles, funny roles, and even was a supervillain in a Marvel movie. Is there nothing that this man can't do when he's in front of the camera? Probably not. But not unlike many actors and actresses, life behind the camera hasn't always been easy for Redford. His life has had a lot of hardships, even going as far back as when he was a kid. So allow us to show you the tragic details about Robert Redford. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 8. Polio In 2011, the famously private Robert Redford surprised everyone when he agreed to cooperate with author Michael Feeney Callan on a book about his eventful life. And one of the many intriguing revelations which emerged was the actor's bout of polio as a child. Polio is of course a disease that is no longer in the world today thanks to the efforts of the World Health Organization and the vaccine that was made to cure it. But back when Redford was a child, it was still very much still around. Thankfully, it wasn't a severe case, but even so, the future Hollywood star was still forced to spend several weeks in bed after overexerting himself during an ocean swim. In 2018, he told NPR that the mid-40s was a scary time to fall victim to the condition. Before the South vaccine was discovered, what hung over your childhood was always the fear of polio, because all you saw were people in iron lungs. Redford would later pay tribute to Jonas Salk, the scientist who found a vaccine for the disease in a 2014 short film. So though it was a very long time ago for him, it's still something that he remembers very well and it's not hard to see why. Uh, Walk in the Woods, the Bill Bryson book, which yeah. you're going to be now making into a film. Yeah. Originally, the idea was that you and Paul Newman would do that. That was the idea. That was the... the, the uh the hope and when I took it to Paul I think the age difference between us uh, was beginning to show up and he felt that and he was concerned about physically being able to do it I still wanted to do it with him I thought it was a perfect thing for he and I to do after the other two we'd done it became clear over time that that wasn't going to be possible and then and then Paul passed away Number 7. The Dare It's hard to think of Robert Redford as a child or even a teenager, but that he once was and he spent much of his high school years causing trouble with a street gang in his hometown of Van Nuys. And boys being boys, dangerous dares were all a part of their daily routine. Unfortunately for Redford, one nearly cost him his life. What happened that almost caused this? He was challenged to jump off a relatively high building by the gang in order to prove that he wasn't a complete and utter wuss. As Redford revealed in 2011 book Robert Redford The Biography, facing down fears hit home early. You had two choices, it seemed to me. You can be led by your fears, or you can overcome them. Having apparently proved his manliness once and for all, and only just without breaking every bone in his body, a young Redford was allowed to continue wreaking havoc with the rest of the gang. Petty theft was their main source of entertainment, with alcohol from a nearby store a particular favorite activity. But the star's life of crime appeared to end at 16, when he was arrested for possession of stolen jewelry. Thankfully for us all, because if he did continue to do that, he wouldn't have had the acting life that he did. Number 6. The Loss of His Mother The loss of a parent is always hard, but for Robert Redford, he lost his mother when he was just 18. Martha Redford sadly passed away in 1955 from a hemorrhage at the age of just 40. Her death was linked to a blood disorder she had contracted during the stillbirth of her twin daughters eight years previously. The Hollywood star admitted that he hadn't made things easy for his mother as a teen, but that she always stood by him. She believed that all things considered, she just had faith that I had something in me that was going to turn out okay. She was right, of course, and five years after her death, Robert got his first role in film, and he didn't stop for a very long time, proving his mother right. Robert went on to sing his mom's praises further, complimenting her smile, adventurous spirit, and positive attitude. He also told a star-studded audience, which included his longtime friend, actress Jane Fonda, that he wishes he'd appreciated her more when she was around. I took her for granted, because that's the way kids were at that age. My regret is that she passed away before I could thank her. Me? No. No, never. Never had. But it's on my list. What list is that? Things I want to do but haven't done yet. Well, you better hurry up. Number 5. Fathers and Uncles The overall parenting situation with Redford wasn't the best. He lost his mother before he was an adult, and his father was a very hardworking man who had very long hours as a milkman. And that might have contributed to Redford going into gangs as he didn't have a present father to straighten him out. However, Robert would go on to form a close bond with someone else. A young Robert developed a close bond with his uncle David, an all-American all-arounder who was not only quite the football player, but could also speak no fewer than four different languages. The pair would reportedly often spend time on the football field practicing their throwing techniques. Once again, Robert was left without a strong paternal presence when his uncle was drafted into the Second World War by General Patton's Third Army. He never made it home, sadly, which upset Redford greatly. Number 4. College Issues 
Despite his reputation at home, Robert Redford did go and try to do college, but things didn't go as smoothly as many, including he, would have liked. In his 2011 book, Robert Redford, The Biography, Michael Calanfini wrote, Redford had become beloved in the drinking circles, but was regarded as a loose cannon. The author doesn't mention exactly what went down in the Kappa Sigma fraternity that a young Redford belonged to, but considering he was kicked out of college after just 18 months, you can draw your own picture as to what went down. At the very least, he broke a lot of rules to get that judgment. But that wasn't the end of Redford's education. After losing his scholarship, he spent time learning how to paint in both Florence and Paris, and later studied at New York's American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Thankfully, the University of Colorado did not issue a blanket ban on any other Redfords attending. Two of the star's kids, Shauna and Jamie, were later accepted into the institution. Number 3. His First Child You'd think after Robert Redford had straightened out his life in terms of focusing on his career and getting married, that things would be better for him. He even had a son named Scott that he was very happy about. Tragically, in November in 1959, the 10-week-old Scott passed away from a condition that would later be termed Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Understandably, the incident devastated Redford, who believed he was responsible for not checking in on the baby earlier, and it would take him more than half a century to open up to the public about the grief he experienced. In an unusually candid 2011 interview, quoted by Mir, the Out of Africa star said, It was really hard. When we were very young, I had my first theater job, which didn't pay much. We didn't know anything about sudden infant death syndrome, so as a parent, you blame yourself. It creates a scar that never completely heals. Number 2. James Just three years after his firstborn son Scott's tragic death, Robert Redford was forced to face the very real prospect of losing his second. Not only that, but his wife Lola's life hung in the balance at the same time too. In 1962, David James Redford was prematurely born with the same condition that had robbed John F. Kennedy of his second son, Patrick. The baby was only given a 40% chance of survival after being diagnosed with hyaline membrane disease. But luckily, the tot and his mother both managed to pull through. It was a colossal relief for us, Robert explained. People think it's been easy for me. That's hard to live with. It's so untrue. The hardest thing in the world is when your children have problems. There have been so many hits on our family that no one knows about, and I don't want them to, for my family's sake. Number 1. The Divorce Back in the mid-1980s, Robert Redford and Lola Van Wagenen appeared to have one of the most stable marriages in Hollywood. The pair had tied the knot in 1958 and overcame the tragic death of their firstborn Scott to have three other children, Shauna, James, and Amy. So it was a bit of a bombshell when the pair announced, albeit a decade after it actually happened, that they were going their separate ways. Redford spoke out on this and noted, it was mutual, and it was right to move on. We still have great love, great affection, and great friendship. It is wonderful, and I think we probably deserve credit for it, because the kids are great, they came through it okay. I never wanted to be one of those divorce show business casualties. So predictable. I wanted to prove that a marriage could last, and prove the business wrong, but I couldn't. So what do you think? What do you think about the backstory of the tragedies that Robert Redford has had to endure throughout his life? Were you surprised by some of the things that he has gone through? Were you surprised that you've never heard about these things in the past? Does this give you an even greater respect for Redford and all the roles that he has played over the years? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the channel.